Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beaster from Beauty and the Beasters and I upload every single Tuesday and Sunday. Today I am showing you my mom of four productive morning routine, starting off with unfortunately taking Synthroid. I hate that I have to take medication every day, but I don't really have a choice because I got diagnosed with Hashimoto's thyroid disease about 10 years or so ago. My symptoms, because a lot of people ask, I was extremely tired, I was gaining weight, and I was getting numbness in my hands and feet. I went to the doctors and they did blood work and sure enough, I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's hypothyroidism. So yeah, I got dressed to work out. I am giving my doggies my morning hug and kiss and then just throwing my hair up. I am not a morning person. I don't ever pretend to be, but I can still get up as long as I slept the night before. If I'm not sleeping the night before, like if my kids are sick or I just have a terrible night's sleep, at the age of 35, I know that sleep is more important than pushing yourself because if I do that for me personally, if I push myself when I don't get any sleep, that's when I get sick. This is my husband, Chris. We've been married for 10 years together for almost 14, and I usually force him to work out with me, but this particular morning, Everly, my three-year-old, woke up early, so he let me work out, and then I will always like return the favor if it happens the next day. We switch, we make a great team. Our elves were so silly this day and went into our nativity scene, which was so funny turning off the alarm and then i am letting my doggies out i'm turning on our christmas tree and i just have to say one thing that feels so different this year is that usually by the time christmas comes i'm just ready to take down all the christmas decorations and just like have a clear house but i don't feel like that yet maybe later like once all the toys are in the house i'll feel like that after christmas but I just don't even want to take anything down. I really love my decor this year and I've been debating just like leaving up my trees for January. I don't know, what do you guys do? When do you take down your Christmas decor? Also, we know December is crazy for most people, but it's especially crazy when you have kids in school and there's all these extra parties and events, they're so fun, um, but it's just crazy. So here I am spilling water everywhere, filling up this Keurig. I love the Keurig, we use it, we use it occasionally, but the reason we're using it is because our Nespresso pods got lost in the Amazon delivery, so we didn't have them delivered yet. Normally we love our Nespresso, but we are doing the curing today. Um, and then also we woke up and realized there was no fruit for the kids' lunches, so Chris just quickly did an Instacart order and got us some fruit to do in the kids' lunches, and that's another thing. So basically, as hard as I try to have it together, I still have mornings where we're just a whole hot mess. So I'm going down into the gym. Usually Chris works out with me, but the baby, she's my baby, she's three, but she started crying already, which was like too early for her. And then I started feeling hard on myself. Like I should have woke up a little bit earlier, but I can't imagine waking up at like 5 a.m. 5.30 to 5.45 is where I draw the line. But I didn't get down here. I'm gonna put a timestamp on screen here to show you what time it is. Uh, but just doing a stretch. And then I've been doing couch to 5K and I actually had to cut it like 10 minutes short because my side hurt so bad i know they call it like a side stitch if anybody knows how to like help that out please let me know because it's so painful like when you're trying to run and you just have this shooting pain in your side anyway i'm also putting on my little therapy light it's for seasonal depression again i don't know how much it actually works or how much it's a placebo but i know it can't hurt using it so i use it when i work out in the morning um, and then also i really like to read while i'm on the treadmill it makes it go by really fast right now i'm reading mr fixer upper by lucy score it was so hard for me to get into at first but it's much much better now So what I like about Couch to 5K is that it has like a warm up in the beginning. So you see, I'm just kind of like walking and then you will go into a jog for a while and then you'll go back to walking and it's just, it's very manageable and very doable because I'm usually somebody that I don't love running because I had surgery on my foot. I have a screw in my foot 
and like I don't know it just it hurts my foot a lot but I'm also somebody that feels so incredibly great after cardio I do like weights and hit exercises too but I still do enjoy my cardio so next I am just doing E2M Premium. I used to do like just regular E2M, which I still always have access to because it's a program that you like pay once and then you're in it for life. But E2M Premium is like a monthly subscription and it gives you like faster, more condensed workouts. So I'm just doing a leg workout really quickly. I love that they're only 15 minutes long and then full body I think is only 20 minutes. One rule that keeps us on time is that no matter what, we have to be upstairs starting our morning routine by 7 a.m. So that doesn't matter what time you got down here for your workout, you still gotta be upstairs by seven even if you aren't finished. Upstairs, Chris and I make an amazing team. First of all, it's still dark out. How gross is that? I could not wait for summer. I'm not even like hating winter that much. I've actually feel the best that I have in a long time. Usually in the winter, I just, I can't help it, but I just feel like down because of how dark it is all the time. and but I have been feeling really good. I feel like the hard months are coming up for me though, which are January, February, March. I feel like those are when I'm like the most blah uh, because like there's the holidays are over, there's not like tons of get togethers and stuff. So I am trying to make it a point to do more stuff during those months. And like, even if that means inviting people here or whatever, because I feel like that's like what I miss. So anyway, Chris is putting away the dishes while I was downstairs working out and Carter grabbed the groceries and we are kind of just tag teaming everything. It's what we always do. We just get everything done. By the time the kids get out the door around 8.30, our goal is to have the kitchen cleaned up and Everly ready to go to preschool. She only goes three days a week, so she wasn't going on this particular day. So what I find helps us is the kids are allowed to have their iPads right away in the morning and then when it's time to start getting ready around 7 a little, or a little after 7 o'clock, they have to get the iPads back until their morning routine is completely done. Everly had a pre-breakfast snack of apples and peanut butter, so that's what I'm cleaning up here. And then she had some cereal as well. So before I pack lunches, I am just going ahead and washing our fruit. I am going to make an Amazon list called Morning Routine and I'll have that linked down in my description box below. So anything that you see like in this morning routine that you're looking for, I'll try to have it all there. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments down below. I love reading all of your comments and I'm so grateful for all of them. Um, I just recently started using a salad spinner for my fruit and it's definitely a game changer. When you see the amount of water that comes out of there, then you know that yes a salad spinner is worth it especially because if you're storing really wet fruit it's going to get moldy quickly I've mentioned this before, but strawberries are the one fruit that we cannot keep in this house because it's a fruit that all four of my kids love. So whenever we buy strawberries, they're usually gone that day or the next day. So we do wind up getting produce a couple times a week. So one thing about my one son who is six, gonna be seven next month, Tanner, if there's pizza, he's buying it. But my other two that go to school, like where they actually serve lunch, they're like, yeah, I don't really care about the pizza. The only thing Ella really buys is French toast. That's her favorite. And Carter, you never know what you're gonna get with him. Um, so 
one of Ella's favorite lunches is still just cut up avocado with everything seasoning. So Chris is still working on some breakfast. He's filming on his phone while I'm filming on my actual camera. And then for uh, vitamins today, we're just doing a quick Mary Ruth's gummy vitamin because we're running behind with the morning routine. I do also love to use Bimergy liquid vitamins. We do the kids zinc and B12 um, and vitamin D. So whatever works for your family, but in my mind, I just feel like the liquid is more potent than gummies, but gummies are great to have on hand as well. I also really like the Mary Ruth's brand, and I also give them Mary Ruth's magnesium at night before bed. This is Chris making breakfast, I swear. When I see the amount of butter that he uses compared to, my, to what I use, now I know why the kids, they want him to make the toast and not me. Ella, my five-year-old daughter, is so me. I still remember when I was younger too, like just sleeping in, and she's the same way. Sometimes I have to actually wake her up for school. Um, so she had just woken up. Carter's having another breakfast, which is strawberries with yogurt, and I am making Ella some oatmeal with strawberries, but she just cracks me up because if you let her, she would just sleep in forever. I just had to show you Everly. She's obsessed with the salad spinner. Whenever it's out, like she just genuinely enjoys playing with it. Back to the kids' lunches. Carter's just having crackers and pepperoni, and then of course he puts a Reese's in his lunch, and then Ella, her little treat in her lunch is um, some chocolate-covered pretzels. But I realized I forgot to put a pick in her avocado, so there we are putting that in there. So I always write a little note for them on their napkins. And today Carter had a spelling bee. So I told him good luck on his spelling bee. Uh, and it, you'll see me like quizzing him throughout the whole video. We were really practicing with some flashcards that I had made for him. Carter is getting himself his water for school. So we have like a checklist on our skylight that they check off to make sure they remember everything. So they need to make sure they have their water and their snack, their lunch, their book bag is all set up by the front door, which I'll show you. We actually put in like little coat hangers for them to keep their stuff in the front once it's all nice and packed because before it was just like all over the floor. Um, so I love those. I'll have to show you those in a second here. But Carter is a stickler for his routine. He's always done first because he wants to be able to go on his iPad. So now I am just cleaning up. We're still catching up on their morning routine. Some kids want like I always make them brush their own teeth first and then I usually check them so you might see us brushing teeth in here. I don't remember if we filled that or not. But usually we're just all over the place making sure we get everything done. So as far as dishes go, I always make sure we run the dishwasher the night before and then we unload it in the morning um, and that just seems to work for us and I've tried to like do it different ways but that is definitely what works best for us. What do you guys do the dishwasher? Do you do it in the morning or at night? Yeah. 
so Chris is feeding the dog, so we still give them farmer's dog because they love them and it just is working really well with them. Next, Chris is taking out the garbage. This is something I usually do at night, but I guess maybe it wasn't all the way full. Clearly the recycling is, um, but anyway, starting off the day with an empty garbage is always nice. I'm just putting the rest of the washed fruit away, and also you'll see I'm gonna spill a bunch of blueberries everywhere, but that's real life. I don't know what I was thinking, that this was actually gonna go in here nicely, but it was not a good choice. <laughs> Now I am on to doing the girl's hair. Ella, her hair, this girl, her hair gets so knotty when she sleeps. I don't even know what she does in her sleep, but it's always a process to get all the knots out and everything. Um, she's kind of over having it braided before bed because she doesn't want crimpy hair every day. We've tried low buds and we've tried like the heatless curlers, which usually work well, but sometimes she says that they hurt her head. So it all depends on her mood and what she wants. <laughs> Now that they're all officially done their morning routine, I've just picked up some more toys and then they're all allowed to go on their iPads. I love that a lot of times they're playing like educational games on their iPads. Here's the hooks that I was telling you about by the front door, they're from Amazon. But I don't get guilty over the iPad in the morning because I know that they are like focusing and doing so much at school. So if they want to veg out for 10 minutes before the bus comes, I'm okay with it. Back to cleaning up, I'm also um, quizzing Carter while I'm cleaning and while he's on his iPad. He did so good. I think it's so weird that the school, our school doesn't have spelling anymore. They just have dictation. Um, and I don't know, I just felt like when I actually studied like my spelling words, I always did good on those and I feel like it taught me how to spell, but I swear everything they do in school these days, I have to like look up because everything is so different from when I was in school. And now I just sound really old, but you know what I mean? There's like a weird or a very different way of doing everything compared to how I was taught to do things. But I'm using a Swedish dishcloth and some hot water to wipe up all the sticky stuff. And then I'm gonna wipe everything down with Thieves Cleaner. So while I'm taking care of downstairs, Chris is taking care of upstairs and I know that not everybody has somebody there to help them. A lot of people like your husbands work outside of the home, uh, but this is what we do. We're blessed that we're both able to work from home and this is what works for us. Um, and Chris is equally as like type A as I am. So he loves taking care of the house and making sure that everything's in order. So it's a huge blessing and I, I know that that's also very rare as well.
Now we're just quickly tag teaming our bedroom, uh, I'm opening up the blinds, we're making the bed, and then I'm turning on my little Christmas tree. I love that I got like the plug that you can use a remote for the Christmas tree. It's so worth it. They're so inexpensive on Amazon, but I definitely have my trees on a lot more now that we have that plug just because it's easier than like crouching down and trying to plug in the Christmas tree. And especially mine is flocked, so I get like flock stuff everywhere. We are giving our hugs and kisses and finally once the kids are off safe to school we see the bus drive by we can do a big exhale and just catch up on anything that we need to do we didn't have time to eat breakfast yet so i'm just quickly making us a protein shake which i use um, i'll show you in a second here but i use a banana and then this bag from costco it's my favorite it's, it has like everything pre-packaged in there for you uh, blueberries raspberries all kinds of good stuff including like a uh, kale I'm adding peanut butter which is kind of weird and coconut water but I was craving it uh, but I thought it tasted really really good this time I use chocolate peanut butter protein by Trivani usually if I'm just doing this fruit one I do I add a bunch of ginger and I use the banana cinnamon protein and I love their protein I feel like anybody who doesn't like it I don't know if they're just having straight up protein mix it with milk or whatever but when I have it in a smoothie I don't mind at all Chris is pretending to love the smoothie and he's always like annoyed at the stuff that I'm making him drink and eat but they have great health benefits at night I've been making us a mocktail by the way let me know if you want to see oh excuse my kids in the background let me know if you want to see um, a nighttime routine because I'd love to film that for you too. It's a little bit more chill. Our morning is pure chaos. Also, I always do a load of laundry in the morning. This particular day, their shoes were really bad and needed to be washed. So I just go ahead and throw them in the washer, how you would wash regular clothes. And I use cold water um, and then I let them air dry. So now I'm just ironing what I want to wear today. I love this lounge set from Abercrombie. I got it when it was on sale, but I want to live in it. It's just super comfortable, but it's also like thicker. So you will definitely not get cold in this. So I know I'm like the only person in, in America who still uses an iron and not a steamer. We've also had this iron since our first condo together. So it's ancient, but she still works good. So I have, this is such like a nice, like everyday luxury that feels bougie, but it's not because it's only $50. Or at least when I got it, it was only $50 on sale, but it's a lotion warmer and it's absolutely worth it and amazing. So I'm out of the shower, getting everything ready, doing my skincare. Um, I recently started using Typology because they sent it to me to try and I actually really love it. I got their makeup as well. So I'm just applying hyaluronic acid, another serum, and then some lotion that I'm mixing these, uh, what are they? These drops into it that give you like a shimmer. I'm blanking on the word right now. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's been really nice. And I put the time on there so you could just see how long. Today I felt like I put more makeup on. I feel like in general, if the kids are already off to school, I put more makeup on because I have a little bit more time. Or if in the winter, I feel like I put more makeup on to look a little less dead since I'm like so pale and everything. And then I, my hair is wet. I put it in a bun and I am using their like the towel scrunchies that help your hair dry faster. I didn't have time to blow dry my hair today because I had a 10 o'clock nail appointment. Thank God, because my nails were awful and I wanted to get them done before the holidays. So, um, that was what I was leaving the house for, but I'll have like all my makeup and skincare. I'll have everything linked down below.
9 out of 10 times when I'm getting ready, Everly will come in and start getting into all my makeup. So without fail, that's what she's doing right here as well. So I'm finally ready to come over here to check out my outfit and just realizing how badly I need to wipe down this mirror. Whoops, real life. Um, but before I head out, I'm going to put the kids' shoes on top of the washer so that they can go ahead and dry out. Which also, don't forget, January, we are doing a laundry room makeover video. We're doing it ourselves. If you have any good ideas, please send them my way. And then whenever I get in the car or go somewhere, I just immediately feel like I need iced coffee. So I'm proud of myself for making it at home and not getting it out. But I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you on Tuesday for an Aldi shop with me. So